all right guys welcome back so today we have a brand new anime game called anime dimensions guys if you have not heard about it guys it is really fun it's similar to anime mania except for you don't spin for your character so uh you basically just grind up to get the gems which is easier and the uh arenas are a little bit different instead of like being in like a almost circular type arena where you can just run around it's a straightforward arena so you basically wave by wave you go to them as you can instead of waves coming at you so it's been very fun the game will literally come out like two days ago and guys 30,000 38,000 people playing it already so guys we're gonna hop in today i played it for the first time on stream last night so Guys, if you end up liking the video, guys, help me out. Go over to my channel, guys, because we are at 90,000 subscribers, and I need y'all's help to get me over that 100,000 mark. So please subscribe and enable notifications, and let's set the like goal for this video to 250 likes, all right? So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead, hop in, and have some fun. All right, to start with, I'm level 13, and basically, you just choose your character to start with. I think there's like a couple starter characters. Let's look at the shop. So I think, yeah, basically you get to choose between like these 50 characters, the, the 50 gym characters, and then uh, you, that's your character until you get more gems. And then like I bought Natsu because I'm a huge fairy tale fan, but I think I want to get Tanjiro, Tanjiro, but I'm like 600 away from Zenitsu. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just save up and get a better character. So you have characters you get from the shop, which that makes things so much easier because like Anime Mania, you have to uh, keep rolling and rolling and 1% chance of getting a legendary. You have to work for mythical, so that's not the easiest thing to do, but it does make things more uh, better. But anyway, so we got Gojo, you can see their cooldowns. You don't really see the damage they do. So I don't know if these are like better than these. I don't know, I gotta get in the game more. So basically you just go to the shop and buy your characters, which I do like that. Then we have costumes, guys. I don't know what these do yet. I really don't. Uh, I don't want to waste any coins on them. I'll try later. So I don't know if no matter what character you have, it gives you certain costumes or these costumes go with certain characters. I don't know. I have not looked at it yet. Uh, but then we have golden boost. You can buy boost or whatever you want with that. And then uh, so you can come to your bag right here and you can see as you do missions and stuff, you collect cards. So cards actually increase a lot of your stuff so you increase so a level five it increases some more things i didn't know that let's go ahead and upgrade some more stuff what happens when we get to level five okay hp regen 35 percent so now my health is going to regen that quickly so let's go to 10 and hp regen 35 percent oh and then we have something that locks at level 15 i just realized this but i haven't played it much then you get extra gold okay that's neat i do like that so your different characters actually help you out. Uh, main thing is attack and health. So that's what I like about the cards. Now I wonder what kind of other cards you can get. Is there gonna be like spin cards or, I don't know. Next guys, we have our quests. So you have daily quests, I've already completed them. This is a good quick way to get uh, some gems if you just want like a level 300 character, uh, 300 gem character, not level 300. And then uh, as you can see, Natsu's moves are already right here. And you got your HP. Also got Twitter coach. I want to say this one is launch. So give y'all free free code. Already redeemed. So that is a code. It's all caps. I don't know if you can do it in all lowercase, but I did it in all caps. And let's see. I think that might be it before we hop in, guys. Uh, we got our settings. Uh, I don't like uh, camera shake. I turned some things off. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and hop in. So right here, you can either join or create your own maps. Uh, right now, I'm at level 13, so I cannot go to the Demon Dimension. I can only stay at Titan Dimension, but you hit Create. Then you can do your different modes. Uh, I can do pretty good with Nightmare Mode, but we're going to roll through this with Easy just for the heck of it. Make us go a lot quicker. And then if you go Hardcore Mode, I'm not sure what the one... You get one life, but you get an extra drop, I think is what it is. So I don't think it gives you any more experience. It's just basically this mode plus one drop uh, i guess so let's create and start and one thing i've noticed is it the the more people you have in the server the more health the enemies have which is a basic dungeon type game uh, so let's go ahead roll with this all right natsu so i like natsu natsu he's got he's actually better than goku in this game but he's a 300 character instead of the uh 50 gym character that goku is basically boom 
These dudes are down. Natsu's got some good semi-AOE -AO attacks. I mean, basically, they're just right in front of me, wrecking them. Uh, one thing, Natsu's got his own, like, little spirit bomb. I love it. I love it. Uh, dragon Fist. And that Dragon Fist has some AOE to it. I mean, you can see the actual boom of it. So we got the level 14. Now, I don't know if you get it more or less experience from fighting these dudes. I really don't. So your XP, I do like how they have the XP. It's an it's a percentage instead of a... Uh, I'm going to hit you, boy. I don't care if you're about to hit me. It's a percentage instead of a actual just bar going up. So what I want to show y'all guys is... So I'm attacking this dude. You see the red? Stay out of the red. If you stay out of the red, he can't... I think they can hurt you like... Um, like fist and stuff but I knocked the mess out of him really quick but I am level 14 I basically just did this level to show y'all what what's uh show what it's like let's see if we can like get all these together oh should have gotten more of them that was doo doo okay wing attack is it gonna freaking just fly through all of them except for that one who didn't even get hurt dead gone so y'all see guys it's wave after wave we have uh little barriers in between each wave so I guess you don't get wrecked too hard, depending on your level. And your HP does regen. Let's see, mine's at 199 right now. Okay, uh, see, they just wrecked me, so I didn't really get to see my HP regen. But, like the better cards you have, that's 35% on HP regen. I would say that's pretty good. Wow, Wing Attack just wrecked all of them that quick? Okay, now is the big boss at the end. I'm going to be interested to see what the big boss for the Demon Slayer stuff is. Uh, so now this dude is... You got to you gotta figure out how to do this dude. Uh, I probably shouldn't have did that because now I have to... Oh, I bear, I'm surprised I made it. Okay, I wasn't in the red when it happened, so... Uh, that worked out well for me. Oh, uh, crap, I'm in the red. But also that... I don't think I got hurt. I may have. I wasn't paying attention. That move has iframes, so... Okay, I really... <laughs> gosh, I shouldn't be getting hurt like this. I don't want to die. Now the good thing is, if you uh if you're not on hardcore mode and you die, you get infinite lives. Now hardcore mode is the only thing without infinite lives. All right, so you can see I got S rank, I got some cards, boom. So next, guys, I want to show y'all what is really cool about this game. Some games have AFK areas, and this game does. So basically, you can get 600 gems every 10 hours if you're sitting in this AFK area. Oh, I didn't mean to go into it, but I did anyway. We'll just show it off like that. So, and one cool thing is some um, AFK areas don't have uh, anti-AFK modes, but this one does. You basically click this, and Roblox will not time you out whatsoever, so you don't, it's not like you have to use an auto clicker to keep clicking, clicking, clicking. And it, I like how this one shows you plus five and plus 20, 120 and every five minutes. So that is actually good about that one. Okay, now that we've talked about this, let's go to the time trial. For time challenge, you come over here and basically defeat as many minute enemies as you can. In eight minutes, you get one reward every 100 enemies defeated. I defeated 246 last time. You get percentage chances to get some actually, I don't know how much better these dudes are but I've gotten both of these two and they were actually good compared to the ones I had at the time but I'm not sure what they're gonna be like now so we're gonna hop in and see what happens uh I probably won't go to the end with this just because the fact well I might I don't know so basically this is what I've done I'll just stay like this and kill as many as I can like that boom and that way I'm staying alive you do have infinite lives in this so don't worry if you're like concerned about dying. The only thing is, if you die, it, you know, it's time away from, uh, it's that much time you're not spending killing enemies if you die. And one thing is you can dash backwards. That makes this nice. All right, so I think we're gonna go ahead and we'll just fast forward through this and see what I end up getting. So I just died. And one thing I do want to mention, guys, is you don't get XP in this mode. I would like to get XP in this mode. I mean, seriously, you're killing people. Just give me XP. This would be like an awesome XP farm because you don't have to keep reloading into it. Just eight minutes, knock as many people out as you want, get a lot of XP. So actually, uh, 
I think we'll just end the video here, guys, because I don't feel like going the next, what, six minutes and 30 seconds here. I, I really don't feel like doing it. Uh, so we'll just end it here. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, I did, actually. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, guys, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Go play this game. It's super fun. I definitely uh, recommend it. I mean, look at this. Just freaking messing people over like it ain't nobody's business. Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching and God bless you.